no drama. <laughs> How much of that experience do you think is so important going into a big campaign like the Ashes? Yeah, definitely. I think it's t it's a totally different ball game playing international cricket, and it really puts your skills un under pressure. I know in one day cricket and twenty twenty cricket, so I'm, I'm test cricket's going to be totally different, um, and I'm lo just looking forward to it all unfolding. Uh, just for our, our uh, team out there, what's the highest that you've batted for Tasmania? Four. Consistently. Consistently? <laughs> oh, you said the highest. <laughs> Consistently? I've had it six for a season for Tassie in Shield Cricket. Was that this year or last? Uh, that was la last year when Paney was injured out with a finger. Right, yeah. And wh what, did you, what number did you bat this year? Uh, se eight this year. Seven and eight this year. I think I batted eight in the I would have batted eight in the final, I think. Now, Australia have gone in uh, with a few test series batting the keeper out six. Do you think you're a big chance of uh, playing in that first test match, batting out seven and, and being that uh, fifth option as a bowl? Yeah, definitely. That's where I, I sort of, when you look at the team, I'm probably going to be there or thereabouts about seven. So if I get given the opportunity, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If you do bowl, who would be the biggest prize wicket from, uh, from the English team? I think Alistair Cook. I think the way he goes about his cricket and the amount of runs he's scored all over the world, I think he'd be... He'd be a big scout, but, but um, I think any international wicket you take, you, you're pretty happy with. So I'll be happy just to get one on the board and see how many after that. A bit of professionalism, Moggy. <laughs> I don't want you to complaining about it when you land up at the ground. What's in the paperwork? Let's have a look at the paperwork.